um it's too pink for me and i but that's fine an alternative I am not a big fan. Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kahiso. And if you're new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below because your girl loves interacting with you guys and to the returning subscribers. Hey, Miss Carter. Okay, so judging by the title of the video today, we are going to be having something that I've actually thought of for a very long time, but I never really thought I should be recording a video of this. So I am going to be giving you guys bits and pieces of what I've learned or what YouTube has taught me with less than 500 subscribers. Yes. We are literally on 481 today. What's the date? Let me actually check the date. The date is the 16th of February. And we are on 481 subscribers. I know that's right. You know, um, someone said to me the other day, I was saying to them that I think my progress here on YouTube is actually quite slow. But they were very astonished to hear that. And when i explained why i feel as though um, my youtube growth is actually really slow then she said to me have you ever thought of 400 people looking at you every single day of your life 400 people greeting you every single day of your life how would you feel definitely you would feel overwhelmed considering my own anxiety I would be overwhelmed. So I realized that I actually need to be very grateful for the 480 that I have, of which I am. Now I sat down and I thought of a few things that YouTube has taught me um, in the past two years. I've been doing this for two years. And yeah, so I've jotted that down because I thought of this last night, actually. So I jotted all of that down on my notes and we're actually going to touch on it. I did not want to forget anything, hence I literally jotted it down because things that you do in the evening guys when you wake up in the morning do you ever remember the things that you thought of last night if you did not jot it down somewhere so the first thing that youtube has actually taught me is my confidence i'm not actually a public speaker i've never been i've never liked standing in front of people and talking to people but youtube has actually taught me a lot of it has boosted my confidence in a way that I even I am actually very shocked because in high school, for instance, I never, ever, ever participated in any public speaking. I would never participate in any public speaking. And even during, okay, for those of you that don't know, I used to be one of the leaders in um, musical choir back in high school, right? I would never take the mic to announce anything. I would rather send somebody to actually do that for me. So my confidence back then actually was, uh, I was slacking here and there. But with YouTube having to get the camera out and then speaking into the camera. But then when I publish it, I'm obviously speaking to plus 400 people. And plus 400 people either agree or disagree with what I say. Or plus 400 people either are for or against what I'm saying. But having to speak in front of a crowd, that has actually changed my life so much. So that was that's what YouTube has actually taught me. The second part is actually perspective. I think I know these off by head because these are the things that I feel in my heart. I'm not actually going to look at my phone, I think. So the second point is perspective. Hmm. Perspective. Listen, if you're a new YouTuber here, do not, do not, and mark my words, do not compare your journey to anybody else's journey. Okay? Do not compare your journey to anyone else's journey. And listen, if you feel as though that, you know what, 
um, I'm going to quit because my journey is not like somebody somebody else's journey who actually joined YouTube way later than I did but their channel is actually booming then please you're doing this for the wrong reasons okay yes you're in it for the money and all of that but you are definitely doing this for the wrong reasons now let me tell you why i actually joined youtube i was told by a friend of mine shout out to lesedi he said to me so because you're always posting on your instagram and you're always posting on your whatsapp stories why don't you document all of that onto youtube and to be quite fair that is going to also it might help you financially somehow i don't know how the monetization goes right when i heard the part where he talked about the money i was very very interested at that point i was very interested because i was like to myself he mentioned something about editing and i was like to myself but i don't know how to edit my guy so what are you saying then i sat down and i thought of it right because there are times and moments where i actually always want to go back to a video that i posted like three months ago and i can't find it on my phone because i have a habit of actually deleting stuff from my phone so when i thought of the benefit of having to document something put it up on um social media platform and it stays there for quite some time not quite some time it stays there forever until i decide that i want to take it down that's a good idea because i mean i can always refer to that video whenever i want to refer to it then a friend of mine you guys know her tari manisa here on um youtube do subscribe to her channel as well she came to me and she was like girl you actually love being in front of the camera so why not start your own youtube channel and i told her you know what you're actually the second person to say this i will actually consider that now after matari's push i went for it considering both my friends and what they had advised me to do i considered the journey and i got onto youtube just to document my journeys in everything that i do my fitness journey my growth my mental state everything that i do i document my journey now on youtube so i joined my youtube um i joined youtube and for documentation i did not necessarily join youtube for the monetization but those are the benefits that come with having to document your stuff and put them publicly on youtube now i'm going to advise each and every person that starts on youtube right do not feel as though because you have 200 subscribers and every time when you post a video you get 20 views so 20 people saw your video then now you can put any and everything onto your channel please 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 be selective with what you put on your channel yes everything is content but you don't have to put everything if that makes sense so there are some things that you feel as though um i'm going to take myself for an example i on my instagram i actually have 68 000, i'm not quite sure i'll put it up here but i think it's 68k followers right and then on my tiktok i think um after posting on my third month my one video actually literally it 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 did the things that it was supposed to do and it got me literally plus 10k followers so i think on my tiktok i have um 12.5k followers i'm not 100 percent sure but i'll put all of that here you know and I thought to myself, do I really want 12,000 people to be knowing this part or this aspect of my life? There are some videos of which I had to take down because I was not comfortable with that. Why? Because when I started my TikTok channel, I mean, my TikTok page, is it called a page? Guys, is it called a page? I'm not sure. Please comment down below and tell me if it's called a TikTok page or a TikTok. No, it's not a channel, bro. It's a page, right? I don't know, but whatever. Let's stick to page. So... I thought to myself, there's some things that I posted on my TikTok when I had less than 500 um, followers, of which I was comfortable with the 500 people seeing. But now I have 12.5. That's 12,000 people. Huh? 12,000 people watching me and watching me do all these silly things that I put up on my TikTok. Even on my Instagram, I'm very selective with what I want to give out there, but I am very authentic. It's just that I don't put everything on my social media platform, if that makes sense. And with that being said, I'm not a flashy person. 
if something called me frugal, I am definitely not fleshy and that I can take with to the grave. Okay. Yeah. So those are the few things that actually, um, have helped me so much considering that I had started my YouTube channel and I learned from my YouTube shop. I said a mouthful. My throat chakra is actually open. Purpose. Oh. When I started my YouTube channel, I did not necessarily think that this is my purpose in life. As time went by, I thought to myself, you know what, because you love this and you can wake up one day, you can wake up early in the morning, earlier than when you wake up when you have to go to school. And every time when you record something, you feel like this is right. You know, this feels right. When you edit, you feel like this feels right. I feel as though this has now become part of my purpose in life because I'm excited to do something. I, I am happy to be doing something, you know, and every time I document something, listen, even my family knows my family, they call me the content creator of the family, because if I hold my phone while you're doing something silly, it's definitely on camera. It is definitely on camera, like it or not. Okay, so my family calls me the content creator of the family, of which, thank you, I appreciate it. I can see that you guys see the vision with me. Thank you, family, and I love you guys so much. But can I mention that some of the videos and some of the moments that I capture with my family, I can't keep them in my phone forever, considering that space is a problem, um, considering a whole lot of things. Now, those funny moments that I get or that I have with the people that I love, I always want to put them on camera and put them in a space where I, they will be there and imprinted forever. So, yeah, that's, that's, basically, that's basically it, finding your purpose, having to find your purpose in everything that you do and that you set your mind onto. My mom was saying to my dad, I always tell people the story that, um, so we were having a meeting, they had a meeting for me and then they had me sit down, right? So I sit down as I was, um, they sitting down, um, in the dining room, my dad was talking to me about a whole lot of stuff, you know, and asking me of what I want to do. It was a long time ago, I think plus five years ago. Then I let my dad know of everything right of how how i feel how i'm doing mentally how my academics are going bloody blah bloody blah bloody blah bloody blah, blah, blah and then now there was a point where my dad was softly reprimanding me right of some of the things that i used to post on my facebook because my dad is my friend on facebook so he was he was kindly reprimanding me on stuff baby girl you really don't want this to be on the internet type of talk okay and my mom stood up and she was like, I feel like you're wasting your time here. Because Kahi saw one thing about her. If she sets her mind to something and she's determined to doing it, she will do it regardless. She will sit here with us, right, while we talk to her. She will select what she wants to hear. And she will agree with you just so you keep quiet and allow her to leave. It, the moment she leaves that door, she will go and do the complete opposite or she will go and do exactly what she wants to do now take that in a bad way take that in a good way i feel as though um though i will nibble and take bits and pieces of what i am told but if i feel as though i'm against it i can't necessarily tell an elder that <laughs> Nigga, you're talking shit. No, I can't do that. So I will take the bits and pieces. Nobody is perfect, guys. And I will go on with the bits and pieces that I collected. And I will freely, literally, freely go and do what I feel like is right to me. If it backfires, I am the one. I am the one at fault. But if it goes well, then thumbs up. And for those of you that don't know, my parents don't know that I'm actually on YouTube. <laughs> oh, but it's something that I always do. They never know of something until I bring the results to them. They don't know that I'm on YouTube. And if they are to find this video, hi, dad. Hi, mom. And it's so lovely to have you here. Please 
subscribe actually you've long subscribed but you don't know i took your phones and already subscribed but yeah th those are basically um the four points that i wanted to put down for everybody you know that i feel as though youtube has told me with less than 500 subscribers and i'm really really grateful for the journey that i'm actually on it's actually a beautiful journey i love love documenting i love going back to my videos and be like wow you've actually grown so you have grown to be a woman that you are today when i started my channel two years back i really did not think that i'd be this far with my channel and people when they ask me how my channel is going i tell them how my channel is going and they're like actually you have the patience and yes i have the patience because i know why i'm doing this you know what i mean so make sure that your why is there and your why is as big as it should be to actually push you to do your best so yeah i am not going to do the typical outro that i normally do all i'm going to say to each and every person that has thought of starting their youtube channel it's these small lessons that you get to pick up i mean i never i i did not know how to edit but right now i can easily be like oh, guys i can't go out today i'm editing tonight so i have to edit whatever mm -hmm. and there are some features that we put into that you basically discover and then features that you want to try on onto your video it, you will learn on the job just start take your phone you don't need a camera take your phone use your window seal and put your phone on top of a candle or whatever to elevate your phone and take that video get onto one of the editing apps i use InShot. some people use CapCut. some people use imovie and edit your video put up your first video your confidence will come from there thank you so so much until then i'll see you guys on my next one.